the construction season is upon us, and we have an update on some of the major projects you need to know about. Our Keeley Arthur joins us live from Madison's east side with how they'll impact your commute and what you can do to save some time. Good morning, Keeley. Good morning. Well, this is a long time coming. Buckeye Road is closing down for construction. You can see behind me that crews are already starting to get ready. This road is going to be repaid, but there are so many other things that this project involves. And here with me to talk about that is Hannah Molinitsky from the city's engineering division. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Keely. And what are we going to see out of this project? So the major improvements are really going to focus on safety. So not only are we going to have new utilities, um, replace old utilities when that means um, storm adding a storm sewer system, um, replacing the sanitary sewer, and then um, updating the water main. Um, we're also going to see more uh, markings for safety, so pedestrian markings, flashing lights for crossings, especially by Frank Alice Elementary, um, and then also some bike lanes and also parking. Uh, right now, there are no curbs on one side of the street on the south side, so we're going to add them there. Um, the sidewalk on the south side, curbs on both sides. Um, make sure that people know where people can walk, bike, drive, park, you name it. And it's very exciting, I think, for some homeowners. I know I spoke to a gentleman once who was actually using sandbags for flooding to fill some of the potholes that were in front of his home. So what are you hearing from the community? Yeah, so um, especially for the homeowners on Buckeye, we're working with them to make sure that they can get in and out of their driveways safely. Um, we also know that they want upgrades, too, um, because they want to live on a road that's safe for everybody to live and drive and bike and everyone using it. Um, but we also know that this street was built in like the 70s. So it's been a long time coming. We're committed to that and that's why we want to make sure that we get it done in a quick amount of time. Um, that way we can shut down the street or the road rather um, as a whole instead of just sections. So that way we can get it done on time and by November. And you were saying that you're one of the drivers that has to take a detour because you usually drive on this. So what what should motorists know? Yes, so yes, I have to take this detour too. Um, so Monona Drive to Stoughton, uh, Monona Drive to Cottage Grove Road to Stoughton, and then the reverse way. And then there's also some bus detours also. We have a full list of those on our city website, and we'll make sure you have those too. All right, well, thank you so much, Hannah. Very exciting. And this project is going on from now until November. Also of note, when Mayor Satcher Rhodes Conway was elected, about about like an hour after she was sworn in, she actually made this her first announcement, her first project. The city and county had been going back for a long time to try to figure this out. They hashed out a deal. So it is finally here starting today, and I will send it back to you. Keely Arthur with that first alert traffic note and her first day on the morning show. We're so excited to have you, Keely. I'm so excited to be here, you two. <laughs> Love you two. Love working with you guys. Finally excited to uh, wake up and actually get to see you, Josh and Leah. I, I never get to see you guys because I'm normally night side. We're definitely looking forward <laughs> to seeing all of your smiles out there reporting for us, Keely. Thanks so much. We have the so coffee much. waiting for you. Thanks, Keely. <laughs> Very happy to cover construction. There you go.